and imagine John Lennon he would have been 80 years old today if he was still alive his last words were actually I'm shot he said it twice I'm shot and the guy that shot John Lennon got his autograph just recently and he and Yoko Ono they recognized him it's really sad and imagine imagine all the people and so the song imagine the lyrics I looked them up earlier and the meaning is peace and getting along and that heaven and hell and religion and physical ownership of things like this is the whole sheet music together you know John Lennon and the Beatles didn't even read sheet music they didn't read sheet music they played by ear so imagine if you try there's no heaven imagine there's no hell imagine all the people imagine if you try and if I had a second child it wouldn't Aurora would have had a brother named Julian and Julian was John Lennon's son from his first wife yes her name was Cynthia imagine this you can and then when he married Yoko Ono she was an artist they had a son named Sean S E A N if you can became friends eventually with the other son and Julian Lennon wrote a book about a white feather that his dad told him bedtime stories of like my own dad Joe told me these bedtime stories cause I had this incredible insomnia since I was a kid I just go and say hey dad I can't sleep can you just make something up and he'd say hey Mickey I'll just lay on the floor and tell you a story star of all the stories that my dad Joe Sullivan told me bedtime stories of the neighborhood friends were in there David Poffin too hello Poffin Lisa Poffin Poffin people you remember me from my hometown too Imagine how I miss David Poffin and I miss San Francisco too. I was in that big 1989 earthquake driving on the Golden, Golden Gate Bridge during the World Series. We just want some peace and this COVID crap to go away. No freaking mass anymore. This black plague thing. Imagine some kind of normal life on planet Earth. Just not be myself, Elvis Centauri. Remember the space family Robinson and lost in space they wanted the Jupiter 2 to get to Elvis and Tori 
Imagine, imagine just the peace that we want. Being kind and not all critical and snappy. Forgiving, forgiving anybody for the smallest, the biggest of anything. Because you don't know if you're going to live another day. We don't really know how long we're going to live. We take things so much for granted. Hello, Christina Crane. I see you. I got to wave to you. I'm not done here. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. Imagine all the people. And my friend Jesse. Jesse, I don't know where you are. Maybe you'll see this later. Yeah, I'm just here on my keyboard. Also, my friend, Reese Drifter. Hello there, Reese. I can give you a wave, Reese. I gotta just say, I gotta let things slide off my back. And we all gotta let something just slide off our back. And when people are crabby and just saying, hey, I just wanted to see what the thing is you're working on. And they, well, whatever. Just interested. You know, it's showing interest. And instead of working in a cemetery, making boxes, it gets to be real old. When I'd be rather working on a faster factory line. I used to be in showbiz. I used to be better at the piano. Yes, you're not a diva, really am I? If you're a diva, then I'm a diva too. And I'm Diva Mickey then, <laughs> with my zenny glasses. Hey, Jess, your name is Jessica. I have a neighbor who's got that name, but she's not friendly. Uh, well, I can't people be honest. Why do people lie? Right to your face. So I'm just gonna get into one of my own songs. not friendly people and people that lie straight to your face in public. I mean at work or or stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just kind of riffing it right now. I'm just playing by ear. I'm playing whatever I want. Let's just get the synthesizer going. Here's my cosmic, cosmic, you know, bracelets here. I was going to wear like 5,000 rings. I have like too many freaking rings. Do I need to wear 5,000 rings that I'm weighted down? Not really. I came across sheet music on... Um, it's called Still, Still, Still. This is a beautiful song. Still, still, still. To sleep is not as well. Sean? Wow, I thought you didn't really give a rat's ass. <laughs> it's a beautiful song. It's an Austrian melody. Still, still, still. To sleep is not as well. 
I used to be even play in the jazz band in high school and college in Michigan. That's where I'm from originally. If you never even read about me, so many people never bothered to read. But I've lived in five different states, and I've been to freaking Europe and Hawaii twice and whatever. Let's get back to like my son here. Bring them on camera. There's no one else to bring on camera. It's just me here. Belladonna. Let's see if I can remember my own song. It's Minor Haunting Chords. And by the way, in The Wizard of Oz, it was always the silver slippers. They took them out. In the film, Frank L. Baum wrote the story of the silver slippers. And yes, I have the book of the Wizard of Oz and it shows right in the pictures and Robin Williams signed it to me he said to Mickey a girl with a good pair of shoes can go a long way Robin Williams and the other shoe was on my left foot so I'll just put this back on my right foot and I'll flip the camera around okay you want to see a little something that's my Screen Actors Guild um, headshot taken by Kelly Garn. There's me and Robin Williams and Patch Adams. There's me as Monica Lewinsky. Me as the unsinkable Molly Baum. Me as the Fifi of Paris. And there's there's Aurora as a baby in a wig. And there's my there's my old resume, my Screen Actors Guild resume, Mickey Sullivan right there. And here's like a beautiful crystal. And look at this, these tulips. I took this picture of these tulips. I put on these incredible puppet shows. And I made money at it. And I talked to Robin Williams, I did, with this hunchback bat puppet on a film set. <laughs> okay, this is Vlad. Hello, darling. Sometimes I'm a... I'm a let, let's get Vlad going here. Oh, Vlad, hello, darling. Doreen, this is Vlad. Vlad is a hunchback bot. Sometimes I'm a fruit bot, sometimes a blood bot. And I was bantering with Robin Williams on this set. Just bantering comedy. Oh, it happened various times. San Francisco, Marin County. San Francisco. Yes, I love that place. That's where I left my heart. Now, what happened with David Poffin? You know what kind of glasses John Lennon would be wearing? I'll tell you. Or some, some like, let's just take off these Zenny glasses. These are from Zenny um, online. These ones here are cool. Purple. John Lennon's glasses were shaped like this. Belladonna, that's one of my songs. If I can remember it. Okay, and I gotta change the settings here. Belladonna, Belladonna. Mm -hmm. You get my foot on the foot pedal. I can't even see the freaking foot pedal. The foot pedal moved. I gotta move the foot pedal around. Hang on. Belladonna, Belladonna. Mm -hmm. I need to change it to I can I can do two couple multiple songs here. Uh, Jess, thanks for putting a little heart up there. Here we are.
to me Haunting, haunting from the grave Haunting from the grave Belladonna's a flower And I discovered it in California Also known as Deadly Night Shade Okay, keep the music and memories alive always, yes Okay, just getting warmed up to say peace love and miracles slurp so it's not over yet and we'll come back again peace and love and miracles guys it's not over yet